Fleck, and I'm the writer and executive producer. This is the show about a virus outbreak right smack in the middle of Midtown Atlanta. I have a soft spot for Atlanta. I shoot two shows here, The Vampire Diaries and The Originals, and both of those shows are actually set somewhere else. Virginia for The Vampire Diaries, and then we shoot New Orleans for The Originals. And so to be able to write a show, produce a show that's about Atlanta, set in Atlanta, shot in Atlanta, is a real thrill. We've been all over the map because we've been at City Hall, we've been on Edgewood Boulevard where we shut down the entire street with shipping containers and burnt out bus, and car accidents, and hundreds of extra screaming. And Edgewood uh, was a complete street closure for about three days, three and a half days, um, including putting the containers across the middle of the street, which meant a complete diversion around us which involved having the police and the fire and the ambulance responses all be aware of us so that they could work us into their travel plans if they were called to an emergency. Uh, they were very, very, very responsive to us, worked with us. We were able to keep the sidewalks open overnight because we were doing a day film. So they were able to still keep their businesses going and you know, basically people could come outside and sort of see what's going on and get a, an experience of the film business. It's kind of like being on the Universal Tour ride by walking out the road going, hey, look, it's all right here. Uh, the city and the mayor's office and the police department have been terrific. We've closed down two major arteries right in the middle of the city and had complete uh, road closures working. One sequence was all night, one sequence was all day and it required four or five weeks of very, very serious pre-production to, to do that. It was very, very successful. The show is going to be great. Uh, everything that we've done has been really spectacular. We've built a, an actual grocery store out of nothing on Walker Street. And so we've really made the run of the city and used it the best we could to really show it off. This is my third foray into Atlanta. And what I have found is that the crews here have gotten better and better over time because as more and more productions come into the state, you find that you get a deeper pool of people that know what they're doing and people that are able to step up. People here are fantastic, you know, it's, it's Southern hospitality. What's so wonderful about working with the people and the crew in Atlanta is that everybody is really, really excited to be here. This is a city that's booming right now. There's so much film production, there's so much TV production, and to be able to call it the Hollywood of the East, I think, is pretty exciting. Um, you've got so many great people that, in fact, a lot of them that we started six years ago when we started the Vampire Diaries, who were assistants, who were, you know, young day players, who are now gaffers and key grips. It's really, it's really fantastic watching everybody grow up over the years and watching this town really boom and, and, and build its own identity as a film community. My experience casting Corden here in Atlanta, really it was fantastic and I, I was overjoyed at the prospect of making sure that a lot of the talent that we got here was local because the story is specific to Atlanta. So it was really important to find as many uh, local actors to fill some of these roles, the supporting roles that we had. It's a little known secret that I think is getting out right now that uh, Atlanta is an up and coming film market and so we have a lot of talent. And one of the things that we really wanted to do was make sure that we got as much authenticity and as much real world information as we could. We spoke to people from the CDC, we talked to people from the Atlanta police, we talked to people from EIS, and the best part about it all is that we have all now learned the rules of how to protect ourselves in a situation should anything like this ever occur. We know how to wear masks. What, so you wear it like, basically like this? This, oh, this is being like a chin strap? Like, we know how to stay four to six feet from each other in case of contact. We know how to remain perfectly safe and healthy. You are now immune. <clears throat>